Well, hi there and welcome back, Professor Mark Leone. Today we're going to spend, in this lesson, 15 minutes with ancient Japanese drawing and design, primarily through the drawings and the prints of Hokusai. So this, this image should be very recognizable to just about anybody in any part of the world that studied some art, especially uh, Japanese art. Hokusai is fairly world famous. The quintessential curvy linear waves and these beautiful uh, uh, prints that we have here, woodblock uh, prints. If you're not familiar with that technique, you should you should get familiar with woodblock printing because it refers to really a kind of, of stylized drawing and then a, a laborious uh, painstaking carving process into a hard piece of prepared wood that's that's got divots where we see the uh, wider areas like in through here these are carved out deeper and then they're inked and printed and they're registered to give separation of color for different blocks so quite gorgeous not only in, in its drawing a design aesthetic its movement its stylized sort of kind of fingering sort of uh, fingernailing fang kind of waves that we see from Hawkeye's eye and then these beautiful stylized boat uh, that we see covered in in the so the kind of impending doom of a wave like disaster from Hawkeye's eye and then probably what is Mount Fuji in the deeper deeper background we actually have a couple of boats another another group there as well in here we have a scene of another mountain perhaps Fuji in the more of the summertime but we see the beautiful elegance of asymmetry in terms of design of pushing the volcano over to further the uh, further right. We see the lovely draftsmanship in all of the faraway feeling of the grandeur of the landscape with the beautiful uh, aspen maybe type trees that grow growing vegetating uh, all over at the base of the volcano. Then as we get higher up, most vegetation will end as the air gets thinner. And then we get to the top of the mountain. Notice the wood texture coming through in the wood block as an added beautiful incentive. And then this these lovely sort of broken up jagged uh, shapes that uh, demarcate cloudscape uh, as well. And then a beautiful gradation of inked value from darker and slightly gradating to lighter to a green color. So a master of not only design, through use of drawing and woodblock printing, but also woodblock printing in and of itself, Hakusai. Here we see lovely stylized uh, figure, an ink drawing, perhaps laid in with some type of dry media and then inked uh, with a calligraphic brush. And you really get a sense of the, the feeling of some flatness of repetition, curvy linear strokes the feeling of understanding of three-dimensional relative form within the line or goblin type figures in the cloth it's very angular so very styled stylized and relatively flat and then we see the head almost disappear within the cacophony if you will the repetition of the background only to re-emerge in the extended hand to what is what is um look to being a, a beast's holding sword etc so there could be some battle or peace i don't know the context but we're looking at again the aesthetic of the drawing and the beautiful flow of the cloth very stylized almost angular and also a little bit jagged that we see coming from hakusai st uh, style here we see again a brush drawing with a strong central focus that's that's star bursting outward into and radiate excuse me from internally outwards so this burst of energy and of also light uh, and then we want to take a look quick look at again the stylization of the contour and the ink rendering the hands and the fingers there's a there's a wonderful flatness to them an awkward quality to the curvy linear style but yet it, it just works so well in terms of its flow and its rhythm in movement back and forth leading the eye around through these beams of light it almost reminds me uh, of a, a different time and uh, earlier uh, excuse me a later time in art history but no less powerful the sculpture of uh, Bernini and um, the ecstasy sculpture 
I believe, of St. Teresa receiving um, a, a, the love of, of Christ, if, or a love of God, if you will. And it's the same kind of idea of the star, the, the uh, kind of struck starburst of love, just a different context here. It almost signifies kind of the power of this individual, this perhaps warrior type. Here we see the drawn line in ink, and then we get this, this sense of also fashion, uh, particularly in a male fashion, more patriarchal fashion, uh, different types of hats, right? And then also different robes and the consistent folding of the hands and arms into the robe itself, what makes a kind of elegant um, and hidden conclusion to the style uh, at the time for probably uh, elite individuals. But the drawing itself has a lot of wonderful things going on that's somewhat three-dimensional with some overlapping of form and then you you get the sense of dark and light line weight variation but you get also a heavy sense of patterning as we see here with dots and dashes in symbols so very much a symbolic kind of art with some inclusion of uh, the understanding of three-dimensional uh, form and not particularly too flat, especially with the sense of we get perspective with the feet in overlapping that we didn't see in other ancient cultures, in particular uh, Egypt. Here we get to see uh, an interesting figurative group, probably caught in a rainstorm, perhaps a snowstorm. These, these cuneiform uh, writings might give us some clue, so those of you that can read that writing, you might be able to tell us something more, but we get an interesting sense of composition where the figures are all headed in this particular direction. They're all covered and hidden. They're hunched over in a bit of dramatic action to signify probably, again, a snowstorm and or a driving rainstorm as we get the symbolic nature of the brushwork into these sort of peppery dots and kind of dashes uh, as well. And they, they tend to fall kind of uh, flat on the surface where they don't give a kind of a dot and dash, dash direction like we might see from rain. But what we do get is some elliptical understanding here, and we get nice rhythmic quality within the brushwork. And the human figures tend to have a very fluid activity of rhythm underneath them in the drawing part of, of the, the movement of the figures and or of the gesture we can feel the, the figures coming this way and then coming out that way so they really do have a great sense of movement even though they're very much hidden under the fashion um, and we get that beautiful um, ancient Japanese contouring with the brush to give about variety in the line weight also in texture apply uh, the illusion of texture and then really lastly enough separation of the forms with enough variety to give us a sense of some three-dimensional depth.